I was doing a film in Indiana called Gila, about a giant Gila monster that attacks town on Christmas. Saved the day on that one. I think I saw something. It was big, huge, it had a tail. Like a, a lizard, almost the size of a, a, a dinosaur. Hey, there's something on the track up there. The producer on that was friends with Mark Burchett, who was really good friends with James Colley. And he knew that James Colley was looking for a new Captain Kirk. And he had just seen me perform in this, this other film. And so word passed around and they looked me up and saw me and the resemblance was so close. And they saw that I'd, I'd worked before that I just got a call asking if I'd like to play Captain Kirk. If somebody calls you and asks you to play Captain Kirk, you say yes. <laughs> I mean, there's, there was nothing else to say. Um, I talked to James on the phone and he described you know, that it's a fan-based thing, and that people come in from everywhere to help out and help make the show what it is. And I, I really had no idea what to expect. I, I, knew, I knew it was a series, and I actually okay. had looked up some of the previous episodes, and I'd seen uh, World Enough in Time, the one with okay. George Takei. Just a signal. Looks to the soul. But something's near, right? Mr. Sulu, what was 30 years to you? It was 30 seconds to us. Something else? Alana. Who is she? She's my daughter. Mm -hmm. And it was a really good episode. Impressive, so I was like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a really good episode. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be great. And um, I'll never forget my first day. I showed up and James brought me in and introduced me to everyone. And everyone just started clapping. And I just walked into wow. the room. Nobody claps when I walk, so they leave sometimes, but everyone was clapping and they were so welcoming and so nice and so excited. I was like, yeah, this, this is where I'm supposed to be. This, that's what I was supposed to be doing. And um, yeah, I've enjoyed it ever since. It's really evolved in those four years. Mm -hmm. The first year we shot, and I remember literally, I, I, I called my wife and I said, we're waiting for the paint to dry because we would have to build a set shoot out the set, we'll do all the shots we need to on that set, and then we'd have to tear it down because we didn't have space for more sets, and build another set and paint it and wait for the paint to dry before we could start filming again. And that was tricky because I'd never put in those hours before, had that much downtime before. You know, it's, it's easier if you're working constantly, you forget about how tired you're getting. Yeah. But when you finally sit down, you remember, and then to get back up and yeah. go again, yeah. it's tricky. Yeah. But since then, now we have a whole new space. We have all these sets built and ready to go. Mm -hmm. All we have to do is build, you know, the set of whatever planet we're on or, you know, any yeah. specialty sets. Yeah. And uh, we're still working on that. We're still building more and more, and I think it's just gotten better and better. Mm -hmm. Which is really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.